worthy of all the praise and all the honor. We want to sing our God is greater, is stronger and is mighty, is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or imagine. There's no situation that is too big for him. Come put your hands together for Jesus. Open the eyes of the blind, there's no one like 
house that I have. He has given me. Who am the family that I have? He has given me. Who am the children that I have?
utukufu ni zako wewe Mungu wangu utukufu ni zako wewe Mungu oh shiba na utukufu ni zako wewe Mungu wangu shiba na utukufu ni zako wewe Mungu oh shiba na utukufu ni zako wewe Mungu wangu utukufu ni zako wewe Oh shiba na utukufu ni zako wewe Mungu wangu utukufu We glorify your name. We proclaim your mighty Lord. We proclaim. We proclaim you now of your mighty power and your awesome majesty. And Lord, come upon us now and release your power and let your Set me on fire, set me on fire. You gotta 
up your heart to God this evening and tell him that all you want is for him to be glorified in your life in the name of Jesus Father we thank you, Father we honor you tonight Lord this is our hearts that you may set us on fire that you may set our hearts on fire that you may set our hearts on fire fire as we worship you as we exalt you, as we glorify your name Lord this is our desire, this is our joy, this is our prayer tonight oh God that you may set our hearts on fire in the name of Jesus in a time when people are growing cold. Now, God, we will grow, God, more and more in you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless your name this evening. We honor you and we exalt you, Father, even as we have gathered in the name of Jesus, the name of Yeshua Hamasia. We glorify you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Amen. All I want is for you, you to be glorified, you to be lifted up. All I to be glorified you to be 
take you to your prayer tonight. All I want. All I want is for you, you to be glorified, you to be lived in this nation, God. All I pandemic season. All I want, Jesus, is for you. You to be the Lord You to be lifted high. Hey. I want to see you lifted high. I want to see of our hearts tonight in Jesus name that we want to see you high and lifted up high and exalted in Jesus name we pray amen and amen and amen thank you worship team for reminding us that all we want to see is God high and lifted up him and him alone Yes. exalted and lifted up in Jesus name amen 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 it's good to see every last one of you in this evening service Today, you just want to have a chat uh, this month. We, we In this season, let me not say this month, this is the last uh, Friday of this month, mm-hmm. that we want to speak about spiritual warfare. One of the things that we want to do as a church is to equip. We have been called as a minister, as a fivefold ministry, to equip the saints for works of service. And that's what we want to do this evening. Yeah. And we are going to tackle the, the topic of spiritual warfare in the coming couple of Fridays. So please tune in, encourage someone to tune in to come and hear and learn. Or just to remind yourself. You know, yeah. there are some things that we know, Pastor Moffat, but I we agree. just need to remind, remind ourselves. Yes. Amen. And to kick us out uh, of this evening, Pastor Moffat, you can tell us what we have today. Today we are doing the drill. The drill. The drill. Amen. And then we'll do the dispatch. Mm-hmm. So I want everyone to tune in every Friday. Such a time as this. And then after that, we're going to do demolition. Come hey, on now. My goodness. Yeah. We're going to demolish some things in this All place. All strongholds in Jesus' name. They have to come down. They have to come down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So you want to kick us off, Pastor? Yes. Um, today we're going to talk about the drill. Uh-huh. And um, the drill is understanding the plan, the purpose, and the presence of God. <laughs> The plan, <laughs> my friend, yes. The purpose yeah, yeah. and the presence. Yes, the Those, plan, the purpose, yes, and the and presence, presence of God. Because in spiritual warfare, yes. you need to understand the plan. Yes. You need to understand the purpose. Yes. And you need to, to know and to have yes. the presence of God in you. Yeah. And that's what we are calling the drill. The drill. Preparing everyone yes. for spiritual warfare. Amen. Yeah. I think it's, it's also important to remind people that uh, um, that even for believers, we yeah. must always be reminded that this life is a battle zone. We are in warfare. That's true. Constant warfare. And no wonder Paul talks to Timothy towards his end and says, I have fought the good, good fight, fight of faith. Of faith. Not just any other kind of fight. Of the faith. fight of faith. So we are in constant battle. We are on the battlefront, but I must remind us tonight that we are not fighting from a losing point. We are fighting from a victory point. Point of view. A point of victory that yes. God has already, Jesus already conquered. 
He has already yes. done it. Yes. We just need to walk it and appropriate it as we take dominion yes. in the earth. The speaking, yes. the judges were told. When you read Judges chapter 3, yes. they were told that God told the children of Israel, mm -hmm. there, are some, there are some armies I will not remove. Yes. And he gave that appointment to men, me mm -hmm. and you. Yes. And by that time, it was the children of Israel That's to true. drive them out. Yeah. And that is something mm -hmm. as Christians we need to understand that. And that's yeah. why as a church, we are starting this spiritual warfare teaching so that we can prepare our, our, our congregation and the, and the believers about spiritual warfare because Pastor Nyakeo, it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. Yes. And let me also say that the enemy will always attack us at the point of our strength. That's true. So you feel you're strong in this area. The enemy will, will disha you kidogo. That's true. At times he will also attack you at the place of your influence That's and true. also at the place of your weakness. True. You know, so you must be alert, you know. Even, even Peter tells us that we need to be alert, vigilant. Be yes. vigilant, be alert. That's true. Because your enemy walks around like a roaring lion. <laughs> 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 but let me tell you, he walks around, and as we were saying earlier, Pastor Moffat, yes. we, we must be reminded that the enemy has a measure of power. But yeah. we must always remember that he is a creation of God. So, Our God is the all-powerful God. God. He is the almighty God. Yes. Aye. And the Bible says, yes. greater yes. is he uh -huh. who is in us than he. Who is outside there. In the world. In the world. Amen. So there's somebody who is greater yes. in us. Amen. So we are fighting for that point of victory. Yes. Yes. And, and, and what's the position of a believer? Because as we're talking, we're talking about the story of David. Yes. In the cave of Adullam. Yes. Could you please Pastor. help us know? Yeah. When you look at First Samuel chapter 22, before we go to, you know, the chapter that you love, Pastor Nyakeo, Ephesians chapter 6. <laughs> I know, yeah. but but when you look at when you look at um, First Samuel chapter twenty-two, yeah. there's some there, there's something that I need you to understand there that God had a plan for David, yes. but I want you to look at the men who David had. These mm -hmm. men had three things in their lives. I want you to read for me, verse one and verse two, Pastor Nyakeo. First Samuel chapter twenty-two. Okay. Umefika hapo Pastor Nyakeo. Yes, First Samuel chapter twenty-two. Yes, verse. And I want you to read for me verse one and verse two. Okay, it's about David's four hundred men. Yes, the Bible says that David therefore departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. So when his brothers and all his father's house had it, they went down there to him, and everyone who was in distress, everybody who was in debt. Everyone who was discontented gathered to him. So he became captain over them and there were about 400 men with him. I want you to see the kind of men that yeah. David is dealing with. Yeah. People with... The kind of men he attracted. I'm telling you. Eish. Distressed. Distressed. In debt. Yes. Uh -huh. Discontent. Discontent. Yes. yes. Those men were nothing. Yeah. They, they didn't have they had a been plan. They written off. Yes. yes. They didn't have any plan. Mm. They didn't have any purpose of life. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's and that's the place most of us we are. Mm. And until that time we, we learn the purpose of God. That God gave men the authority to wage war. Yes. Because when you go when you read Second Samuel chapter thirty, and you will come will come to that. Mm. This man, one of them was killing more than three hundred. The mighty men of David. The mighty men. But I want you to, this. Yes. Yeah. But I want you to look at them. Where they the, started. Where they started. The drill. So, it doesn't matter where you start. No. It matters who you start it in. Come on. Repeat that question. Come okay. on. I, I feel like that's a tweetable tweet. I'm telling you. And everyone matter. has to cite <laughs> Pastor Nyakeo. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you start. Yes. It matters where who you start in. That's the point. Yes. And even when you're waiting, let yes. me tell you, Pastor Nakio, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how long you will wait. Yes. But the person that you're waiting in. Yes. Yes. Hey, so we need to wait in God. We need to wait in Him. 
And, and, and amazing when you're talking about David, he was such a man of strategy in battle. Yes. And when we're talking about warfare, one of the things, as you said, we need a plan, we need a purpose, we need the, the presence of, the God. Presence of yes. God. We already have God. We need to hear his plan. Yes. I always say in battle, even when the Kenyan armies are going to war, they just don't go and say, we have come. Uh -uh. No. You first send emissaries. And you see, that's a lot even with the children of Israel. Yes. Remember the story of Rahab the and the two spies? Yes. They send emissaries to see, go and spy the land so that we can have a plan and so that we can also be able to strategize yes. on this battle. Yes. So even when you bring that even to spiritual warfare, it's the same. When you are going through something, just don't go fighting. You know, you need to hear, sit down, strategize. Yes. With God, because he's a never-present help in time of need, and he will lead Amen. us. Yeah. Yes, yeah. The same thing, you, you have said something about, about the spy, and as, as, as Sitam, you know, we are doing, we are, we are saying about, give me this mountain. Mm -hmm. It's still the year when God will give us the mountain. It doesn't matter, and I want, to look, I want you to look at this. Yeah. That these men were in distress, so yes. that means they, were, they, they had issues in their lives. Yeah. And uh, right now we are having issues as well. As, yes. as a nation, we're having issues yeah, all over the world. Yes. Yeah, with pandemic. Yeah, but mm. I want you to look at something that happened yes. to the spies. Mm. God had already given them that land. So the purpose was that land. But the plan was, I need you to, I, I need to get 10 men and send them. Yes. I need to prepare these 10 men. Yeah. So that when they're coming back. Yes. Either they come back with the word of God. Or they come back with unbelief. Yes. And that's the point. Sometimes Christians are in that position. There's something you'll say that is important. Yes. That even when they were going to spy the land, God had already given it to them. That's the purpose. Hey, that even though we are engaging in battle, we already have the victory. Let me tell you this, Pastor Nakio. Hey. Even some projects. Yes. There's some projects. Yes. Sometimes you you start a project, Pastor Nakeo, yes. and it reaches somewhere, mm. and you cannot be able to continue. Yes. And sometimes you have the money, but you cannot be able to continue. Mm. That's a battlefield, Pastor it's a ba That's a spirit. Spirit of delay. That must that's the point. In Jesus' name. And that's why we are saying hey. spiritual warfare. Spirit. We have to fight. You know, some of us are ignorant. You know, the Bible also tells us, do not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Yes. Because at times we're ignorant, we say, oh, no, it is healthy, it is, ah, uh ah. -uh. Please, enter into the realm of the spirit and see how you need to address that thing in the realm of the spirit. In the it name, will manifest physically. Now that is what spiritual warfare is, Pastor Nakeo. Exactly. Yes. Yes. I want you to go back. Let's go back. Remember these people who are distressed? Yes. The next one? They were in debt. The third one? They were Discard, what were they? Yes. They were in debt, discontented. Yes. yes. So these people, they have issues. Yeah. Issues, so many, so many of them. Yeah. But I want you to look at the man of God, what the man of God told them. And I want you to read for me verse 6. No, verse 5, Pastor Nakio. And I want you to start with the word, but. Like in Yanko in a but. Yanko in a but. It's okay. It's okay. Mine has but. Okay. I, we, that's what I mean. Yes. But. I, uh, so mine says, yes. verse 5, yeah. uh, 1 Samuel chapter 22, verse 5. Yes. Now the prophet God said to David, yeah. do not stay in the stronghold. Depart and go to the land of Judah. So David departed and went into the forest of Hereth. Where was he told to go? Mm-hmm. Depart yes. and go to the land of Judah. Remem remember what's the meaning of Judah? Yes. Pastor Nakeo? Yeah. Worship. Mm -hmm. Praise. 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 Yeah. So he was told, I need you to get out. I want you to depart from the distress. I want you to depart from, because as a leader, the people who are following you, they can only, uh, they can only be in that realm where you are. Yes. So, you have to make sure that you're not in that distress or in your a place of unbelief because your people will still be in that state as a leader. So, prophet, God is coming here and he's telling David, I need you to depart from the situation that you're in, from the condition that you're in. And I want you to start praising God because God has already wow. given you the land. 
that is so amazing because I think what you're also introducing us to this evening yes. is even as Paul told the church in Corinth, he told them that the weapons of our warfare are not kind of, but they are mighty through God yes. to the pulling down of strongholds in the book of 2 Corinthians. Yes, chapter 10. And, and I think what you're introducing here yes. is one of the weapons that God has given to us as awesome. believers. Yes. The weapon of praise. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Most of the time you meet Christian Pasinakio and all the words that are coming out of their mouth is unbelief. Yes. I cannot be able to do that. I cannot be able to do... No. You, as a Christian, you're not supposed to be saying that because yeah. God has already given you the mountain. And, and then... And then Psalm 40 says that you have put a song of praise in my heart. Come on now. A song of praise unto our God. That yes. many will hear of it. And they will rejoice in God. And they will put their trust in God. Yes. So he's already put that praise in you. Yes. And even if that situation seems to be sitting on your praise. Oh. You can say I will arise. This evening we have said arise. Name. Yes. Arise, arise, I'm taking arise over in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Yes. Amazing. Yeah, and I want you to show I want to show you something. Now yeah. I want us to go to your good text. Aye, Ephesians hallelujah. chapter 6. Yes. I want you to show something. Mm -hmm. Remember these people are in? They have been told. David has been told, I want you to arise and start praising. But I want you now to see the purpose of God. I want you to go to Ephesians chapter 6. Yes. Are you there? I am there. You are there. I'm, I'm going there. I know. <laughs> Amen. I want you to see this. I want you to read um, verse 10. Verse 10. Yes. Okay. Finally. Does yours start with finally? It does. Amen. Yes. This is in agreement somewhere. <laughs> yes. Finally, my brethren, mm -hmm. be strong in the Pas Lord. That's a command. Finally. I need, you, I need you to understand. Be. Be strong. That's a command. So in the Greek word, that, that ikona ile command. Command. Uh -huh. It's a command. Yes. Be, Be strong, strong. in the Lord. Not in your own strength, person, like you're in but that project. in the Lord. Yes. Yes. Not in, not in your own strength. No. Not in your own money in that, in that yes. project. Yes. But be strong in. In the Lord not and only that. in the power of his might. Oh. This is a scripture people need to have memorized. That's surely. the point. And I hope you are memorizing scripture during this time of COVID, man. That's true. This is a, a great opportunity to memorize scripture. Yes. The finally, Breath. finally, Moffat. Yes. Finally, Nyakeo. Finally. Finally, Joseph. Yes. Be strong, strong. in the Lord and in, the in power his, his might. mighty power. It is not yours. Even when you're fighting, the blood patterns in your family, in your life, it is not your power. It is the power of God that is in you. Meaning, there are people who get strength in their ability, yes. in the power of their bank accounts. True. I know. They are strong in their ability yes. and they have taken confidence, as Paul would say to the Philippians, in the flesh. Yes. But today we are being reminded to be strong in the Lord because this is a strength that can never go down. Yes. It can never disappoint. And in his mighty power. power. Yes. Yes. And then then it, he goes on to say what? That put on the full armor of God mm -hmm. that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wait, do, wait, Pastor Nakia. We are going pole pole. Pole pole? Yes. Okay. Mangali First of all, you say, be strong, I know. Then you say, stand yes. against. Yes. Continue. And say, stand against the wiles of the devil. What does your portion say? Devil's schemes. The schemes. So, there's somewhere that the Jesus enemy is coming. Schema. Yes. There's somewhere that the enemy is coming. Yeah. But remember, you have been told, you have been commanded to be, to be strong. Strong in the Lord. Yes. And that's why we are saying Amen. that this is the drill. Amen. We are making sure that you're understanding the plan. Yes. The purpose. Yes. And the presence of God. Yes. So that you may be able to stand. Amen. Continue verse, verse 12 so that there's something I wanted to show you and there. And the presence is the fact that we are in the Lord. Oh, we in. are 
in Therefore, it means his you mighty cannot power. fight yes. when you are out of the head. No, you no, must no. first make a commitment to, to God yes. so that you can be plugged in into the army of God yes. and so that you can fight this battle in the Lord. Yes. Hey, this is amazing. I, I'm liking this. I'm liking me, this. Yes. When yeah. you understood these scriptures, mm -hmm. uh, squeezy, I'm, I'm, I'm very strong. Amen. Uh, verse 12, I want you to... You are strong want, in the Lord. Yes, in him. Yeah. I want you to show some... I want, you, I want to show you something. Continue mm -hmm. verse 12. Verse 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities, against powers, mm -hmm. and against the rulers of the darkness of this age, and Where? against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Hey, isn't it to me? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And this is the preparation. This yes. is what... God is trying, or Peter, Paul is, is trying to tell the church of Ephesians, this is what you're fighting. You're not fighting against, you know, people. No. But yeah. you're fighting against all this. This is the enemy that you're fighting. That's the point. And, and you cannot go, and that's why you have to be, not to be ignorant of the schemes, as we have been told. Yeah. But you must know your enemy. Don't, Perfect. you know, at times people make uh, assumptions about the enemy. You must know, know the, the enemy. enemy. And then something yeah. else, Pastor Nyakeo, as yeah. we go on because of time, mm. you are he's saying that this, where are these power? Mm -hmm. In the heavenly? They're in the heavenly places. I want to take you somewhere in Ephesians chapter 1. I was about to say that. Yes. Verse Ephesians 3. Yes, yes. Verse 3. So yes. that you can be able to understand. It says, yes. blessed be the oh. God. Mm. Uh -huh. Come on, Continue. Of our Father, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Paraphrasing it a bit. Who, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings ah. in the heavenly yeah. yes. places. places. So this is it. Yeah. The powers of the enemy yeah. are where your blessings are. Mm -hmm. It's not me who's saying it's the word mm -hmm. of God is saying. Equally. Verse 3. Yes. That your, where your blessings are, yes. it's where the enemy is. Yeah. And that's why the authority is on us as believers. That's Pastor. why there is always a contention. And you see Daniel in chapter 10 when, when he has been praying it's yeah. on the 21st day of prayer and fasting. Man, the, the fasting has extended so he can receive an answer. Yes. Then, then the angel comes and says, from the time you prayed, the answer was released. Yes. But I was held in the heavenly places by the prince of Persia. Yes. And so we cannot be ignorant. We cannot. But then it means the blessing is there. Yes. The warfare is there. But we are doing this in the Lord. And that's what we're saying. And in his mighty power. Oh, yes. And that's yes. what we're saying. Yeah. The plan is the victory yes. that it, God has given us. Amen. The presence is to take over, Pastor Jekyll. Yes. Take over your family. Yes. Take over your project. Yes. Take over everything that God has, everything that God has blessed you. And the last thing, the presence is what you're saying. In God, because he always promises, I will be with you. And then, I, I know we are going to mention about the, the, the armor of God. Yes, yes. But then, you know, for me, it strikes me. It is so sad that everything, in fact, the Bible says that everything we need for this life and for godliness. godliness. First, first, second Peter. Yes, it's been yes. released to us. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, and, and, the, and then we keep on complaining and keep on murmuring. Um, for lack of a better way, we keep nyata nyatari, you know. <laughs> Kumbe, yeah. whatever you need has already been released. That's the point. It's waiting for, for you, you to go and take it. Come on, tonight That's we have to purpose. take something. We have to take them We Jesus. have to take it in Jesus' name. Our day. families, we have to take them. We have to take them back. Our children, we Our have to take them. Our marriages, we yes. have to take them back. Our nation. Our nation. We have to take it In back. Jesus' name. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. And that's what we are saying. Yeah. That this is the drill. We are taking over. It's time. The plan, we have the victory. The purpose is to take over. Yes. And we are in God. And we must never forget yes. that Jesus said that all power and authority. So you're not going like, you know, aka, aka beaten no, chicken. No, no, no. You have power. You and have authority. authority that you're not exercising. 
But tonight, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus yes. we declare and we in release you to walk in the Jesus. power and the authority that God has in ordained the name for of you. Jesus. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hey. Your blessings. Hey. You have to take them in Jesus' name. Amen. And that's what we are, we are saying. We are accessing this mountain. Yes. We are taking this mountain. Yes. In Jesus' name. Because COVID or no COVID. It is still uh, the things that you trusted God for at the beginning of, of the, the year. year. Yes. Brethren. Yes. He will give us this much. And in Jesus' name. You know, God in his wisdom, when yes. he gave the leadership of Sitam this thing, yeah. he knew, you know, he didn't take him by surprise. He knew yeah. COVID was coming. Yes. Yet he knew that there's a mountain you had placed before him. Yeah. And you told him, I need this mountain. And he's still going to give you that mountain. Do not doubt. Because someone is saying, how shall this be happen? Yeah. Do not doubt. Our God is, is well mighty. able. He's mighty. He's well able. Yes. So we've talked about uh, the, plan, the plan, the purpose, the presence. Yes. And, and then we need to talk about the different kinds of, 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 of weapons that God that, has that given God to has us. Given us. Yes. Of course, we've talked about praise. praise. Important. At Very times, important. just put a CD in your house. Put on yeah. Hope FM. In your house and play. Let it play some music throughout the night as you worship God. Amen. There's a way. Worship just has a way of drawing and releasing the glory of God. It has a way of causing the divinity to come and meet with Amen. your humanity. Your and cause a, an explosion of the miraculous in yes. your life. Hey! 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 My friend. <laughs> yeah. And then so, so it says in verse 14. Read yes. over there. You can read there. Yeah. Verse Therefore, 14 says... Mm -hmm. I need you to look at again. Uh, the writer is saying, stand firm then. Stand. Remember we had one stand? Yes. So this is again. Because the, the purpose of Paul is for Christians to stand. Yes. It is not even the issue of fighting. It is for them to, to stand. stand. Because God has already, remember the plan? God has already fought for you. Stand firm then with the belt of truth yes. around your waist. Yes. So what does that mean, Pastor Nakio? The belt of truth. It yes. means you, the enemy, you have to learn why you need the belt of truth. Yes. When Paul was writing to this Ephesian church, in yes. that context, they yes. could understand so well. Because when the soldiers were going to battle, this is yes. how they used to dress. To dress. And they would Correct. have the belt of truth Correct. Uh, to guard. And, 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 and everything about the armor was was held together by the belt of truth. Amen. And there's another portion of scripture that talks about the belt of love. It talks about love. Love yeah. is the thing that holds us together. Amen. But it means that we have to deal with the deceptions of the enemy. Yes. Because in the battlefield, the enemy is a master deceiver. True. So he wants to come and deceive you, but you must counter him with the belt, of, with the truth of God's word. Yes. And, and the Holy Spirit is called the spirit of truth. Truth. Who is Amen. with us? We're talking about the presence. Yes. Then they're right there. Yeah, right and, there. And, and part of this, uh, part of this armor yeah. is what we call being on the defensive. Yeah. They are on the defensive. So when you put the belt of truth, you're being on the defensive. You're saying, I have truth. Yes. I will counter every lie of the enemy in Jesus that is brought name. my way in yes. Jesus' name. So you must have the belt, the belt of, truth. of truth. Yes. yes. Doubts. You don't need to have doubts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You need to Confidence have the in truth. God. Yes. yes. Mm. That's the truth. Continue, Pastor Nakia. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. It, and then he continues to say, mm. after you have put on the truth, then the breastplate of, of righteousness. righteousness. In place. In place. Yes. Um, and, and, and so what do you understand this? Remember, righteousness is given by God. And that's why we are telling yes. about the purpose. Yes. That if you, no one, Pastor Nakia, can give you righteousness. It's only God who can give you that righteousness. Yeah. And righteousness is that being separated, Pastor Nakio. Yes. That you're separated from all these other things of yeah. the world. Yeah. And God has already now given you the plan yes. and the purpose of you going. Yes. So he has given you that courage. You know that courage? He has the courage. Yes. And and then the breastplate of righteousness, it, it's it's around the chest area. That's the point. And we all know that the rib cage yes. covers a lot of very sensitive organs in the in the body of a human. Amen. So when you put on the breastplate of righteousness, it guards your heart against the arrows of the enemy. Because the, the enemy is always trying to throw arrows to your heart to destroy yes. you. Yes. But you see also, it's like just having a pull in, in battle when you yes. have the breastplate of righteousness 
in the day-to-day -day language yeah. is like having a bulletproof vest. That's the point. And, and why you must guard and walk in righteousness is because the little things, the little foxes that yes. come are the ones that cause your bulletproof vest to have holes that's where true. the enemy can penetrate and hit you yes. and paralyze you. And that's you. why Pastor Nakeo, yes. he gave you the righteous mark yes. of himself. Remember what the Bible says that yeah. he who had not sinned became sin so, so that, that you can be the righteousness, the righteousness of, of God. God. So Amen. when you become a believer, when you become a Christian, then you have that breastplate of yes. righteousness in you. You can be able now yes. to stand. Yeah. You can be able now to declare words, Pastor yes. Nekio, because the authority of Christ is upon your life. Is upon you. Yes. And just clothing yourself with his righteousness, you know. And, and, and what we're saying is that this is the drill. This is the Before drill. the soldier would go to the battle, yes. the we drill was... They had to dress up. Yes. And this is what we're saying. You must dress up. Have yeah. the knowledge. Yes. But this is how you dress up. The, and yes. number three yeah. is that they were supposed to put on the shoes of the preparation of the gospel of Amen. peace. Amen. 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 And, and, and this is you understanding. Um, I, I call this, I don't know about you. I call this understanding the gospel. And you're coming, yeah. you're coming now to, get, to, to know the word. But it is you understanding the gospel. Personally, not many Christians understand these words. Mm -hmm. Not many Christians. Yes. Because personally, most of the time, you hear, you hear preachings, but you do not read the word of God in your life. And, and remember what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, that blessed are the feet that take the good tidings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's what Paul is telling these people, that you have to understand and to have understanding of this gospel in your life. And you know the feet are very important. Yes. So, Everywhere that you go, sometimes it's that project, Pastor Nyakeo, that maybe you, you have or Amen. I have. Yes. You have to stand there, Pastor Nyakeo, and declare, you know what? In Jesus' name, yes. this project, Amen. I'm going to finish it Amen. in the mighty power of God, not Amen. in mine. Amen. And then the amazing thing about understanding the gospel yes. is that these are the feet that take you. When you wear yes. the shoes... They take your feet to different places even as you go into yeah. battle. Yes. And so you, as you go because you understand the gospel, yes. you're able to share the word what? even with other people. Yes. And the kind of things they used to wear were almost like akalas. Do you yes. remember? Sandals. I, sandals. I don't mm -hmm. know how to explain. Zile hey. Those ones, the heavy, <laughs> those heavy ones <laughs> yes. that would go anywhere. That would just go anywhere. Anywhere. You know. Yes. Yes. So, uh, moving on is the shield of faith. Ooh. The shield. shield of faith. So, yes. what you guard your life with yeah. is a shield of faith. And you know what yes. is faith, Pastor Nakeo? Yes. What is faith? Faith Yes. is our trust in God. Oh. Yes. Believing in yes. the things that you're not seeing, my yes. friend. Yes. 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 That is what you... The it has evidence. To the evidence. Hey. The evidence of things that you do. That is what is guarding you. Yes. Yes. That I don't... You know, things yeah. the way they are, yeah. sometimes they are not okay. But because I'm in him, remember the present, the presence of God? Yes. Because I'm in him, yes. I have to guard myself knowing that he who is in me yes. is greater. And he who started this good work, he will be able to accomplish. So, and because faith comes by, by hearing, hearing and hearing the word of God, that's how it grows. Yes. You are in a situation and, 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 and the enemy starts hitting your mind and telling you, Oh, you're going to yeah. be chased out of the house. Oh, there's Doubts. no house rent. You know, yeah, like that. Unbelief. You just lift the shield of faith and you say, no, but my God shall supply all um, my needs according to his riches in glory. Yes. You keep lifting that shield of faith. Yes. And the Bible says to quench every, every fiery, fiery dart of the, the enemy. enemy. The That's enemy true. is always throwing darts. You know, he's yes. opportunistic. He's an opportunist, you know, yeah. looking for ways to hit you. Grr, grr. Yes. So if you don't lift up your shield, that's when you find... An arrow hits you, yes. and you start walking in doubt, in unbelief. unbelief. You That's know? true. Yeah. 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 So you have to guard yourself yes. with the shield of with faith. With the shield of faith. You walking and understanding in Jesus' name. My yes. family yes. is is going to heaven in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. I'm Amen. getting back my wife. I'm getting back my husband in Jesus' name. You know, it feels like we should do a series on this one. So let, yes. let's move quickly so that we can finish. Actually, two more. And yeah. then take up, put on the helmet and take the helmet of salvation. So they would put the helmet. Remember, remember your it head? It would guard the head. The mind? Yes. Yes. The your eyes, yes. how you see things? Yes. 
So you have to make sure that you have that helmet yeah. inside you. And that yes. helmet is salvation to us. Amen. Remember, it's the a gift. The helmet of yes. salvation. Yeah, it's a gift, Pastor Nakeo, that you've been given. Yes. So you have salvation in you. You have Christ in you. Yes. You have accepted Christ yeah. in your life. So Christ will guard your mind. Mm-hmm. There are some things that you will not. Remember those doubts? Yeah. They will not be part of your life. Yeah. Because Christ, the Bible says in uh, First uh, Corinthians, yeah. I think chapter 1, verse 16, it says that you have the mind of Christ. Christ. You have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ, and that's salvation. Amen. And when you put on the helmet of salvation, yes. it guards your mind. You receive the mind of Christ. The Bible says you have the mind, mind of Christ. Yes. But then it guards your mind from attacks of confusion. Bro, that's true. You know, if you're going through a season of confusion, you don't have direction. Yes. Just say, you know what? I put on the, the helmet, helmet of salvation, of salvation. Yes. against doubt, doubt, against unbelief. Yes. Because salvation, we are saying, I believe in God. But then yes. when unbelief comes, you say, no, it's not going to hit. And then, you know, that's a whole topic altogether, Pastor Moffat. That's true. About the battlefield of the of mind. The, mind. the yes. battlefield. Of, and that's where the enemy really hit. The warfare yes. is actually also yeah. resident here. Yeah, you know, true. primarily in the mind. Yes. And then also we, we talk about um, uh, the other one. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The sword of the spirit, which the is sword the word of, the spirit. of God. Amen. Pastor Nakio, sometimes you want healing, but you do not know the scripture that says that you are healed in him. Yes. You that by that's his stripes you're healed. You're healed. You see, now that's an issue. And yeah. that's why Paul is telling these people, I need you to understand the word of God. Yeah. I need you to have the word of God. I need you to memorize. Spend time. Yes. Read, meditate. Memorize. Meditate. Meditate. Internalize. Of yes. Of, of uh, this word. Yes. In this word. Yes. And remember... That's what Joshua was told by God. Day and night. Day and night. Day and so night. that you'll be successful. It talks about, when he talks about day and night, he talks about every time. Because yes. day is from six in the morning to evening. Yeah. Usikuni, night. Yeah. You know, the hours of the night. That's so true. it should be a constant thing that it we should, do. Yes. So that yeah. should be the meditation. That you're meditating on that word that says yeah. that God has healed you. Remember this, Pastor Nakeo? Yes. It is not anyone who heals. It's only God it's who only heals. God. So you have his word. Mm-hmm. And you know, he says, I'm not a man to lie. Sometimes, you know, sicknesses come because, you know, this warfare that you're fighting. And you have to know the word of God in That's your life, true. Pastor Nakeo. That's true. So that you can receive that healing. Amen. So when the enemy tells you, you know what, there's this, there's this uh, disease or sicknesses in your life, you have to declare. Remember That's praise? True. Going to Judah, yeah. you have to declare that by his stripes I was healed. Psalms 108, the Bible says, verse 20, that you sent your word and you healed. And you healed. And, 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 and as we're talking about the belt, the breastplate, the shield, yeah. the shield, the helmet, those are really on the defensive. But yes. when you come to the sword, it's, it's on, on the, the offensive. offensive. That's it's on true. the offensive. And I'm going to talk about prayer as we yes. finish in yeah. prayer. Amen. But then the sword uh, of the spirit, I, I'm reminded about Jesus mm-hmm. uh, when the enemy uh, took him to tempt him. Yes. And how he overcame mm-hmm. is when he said, it is written the three times the I'm temptations came yes. to him. It, it, is, it is, is written. Yes. And so if you don't know what is written, how can you quote what is written? That's the issue. You must know scripture. Yes. You know, so that when the enemy comes like this, you he'll have. come in like a flood. But God will raise up a standard against him yes. as you dwell in his word. Yes. And then it also finishes there. And I want us to get to a time of, of prayer as we finish this service. Yes. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Yes. Eh? All. Always. Yes. Yes. Yeah, every time. Praying always. Yes. That's another offensive weapon that God has given to us. Praying always. And you know what is happening right now, Pasi? Yes. A lot of people are saying, oh, uh, we are missing church because, oh, Najua, Ata Kuopa, Imekwa Nguba, ah, ah, brethren, 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 pray. Yes. And after you have prayed, pray some more. As one of the men of God will say, with much prayer, yes. pray. Continue praying. Hey. Yes. Yes. And you know something, Pastor Nakio? Yeah. Most of the Christians right now are not praying. Yeah. Because, you know, they, you know, the attacks of the enemy yeah. are all over. He and hits our prayer life. Because he knows that's our point of victory. That it's is God. Yes. Yes. You talking to your father. Yeah. You talking to God. And that's what God wants. Yeah. Remember the children of Israel, they were told when, when, when Moses, you know, was sent there, things became worse. Yeah. But you know what? God had already given a word, Pastor Nakeo. That's true. And that word, you are supposed to speak that word. And through that word, it's 
it's now the prayer life. How is your prayer life, Pastor Nyakio? How is your prayer life? Amen. Yes. How is it? How is it? How is you have to passing? tell us. <laughs> <laughs> it, it keeps growing. It keeps growing. Yes. It has its days. Yes. Yeah, but you know, you, you don't pray because you feel like praying. No, no, no. You pray because it's 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 one of the disciplines of a believer. Yes. But also because you enjoy communing with God. With God. You know? That's true. And this is what I want us to do this evening. Yes. Just turn to God in prayer. We have yes. talked about the drill, being Be ready. Calm. Yes. You know, being equipped, plan. knowing the plan, the yes, purpose, the, purpose the, presence, the presence, you know. Yes. And then also knowing that we need God. We have the different weapons of warfare yes. that God has, has given, given to us. us. That as you march into that battle zone, you're you not praise, alone. You're not alone. As you praise. As you exhort yes. God, he yes. is there. In like a small project. He shows up. I have to praise and tell God, thank Amen. you, God. Amen. Because I know there's something great that you're doing in this place. You know, anytime you praise God, yes. he shows up in that situation. Oh, and he says, here I am. Oh, yes. I'm coming for you, my I'm brother. here. I'm coming here. I'm, I'm here back. for you. Amen. Amen and amen, amen and amen. Amen. So why don't you turn to God in prayer yes. this evening in Jesus' name. So wherever you are, you. we release you to pray. Just speak in tongues for a minute or two. There is no one as like you, everlasting Father, O oh God. We worship you, oh Father, O oh God, because you put authority upon our lives, everlasting God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, to destroy every work of the enemy, Jehovah God. And Father, Lord, you have reminded us about the plan that you have for us, O oh God. The plan that you have for us, O oh God. It is victory everlasting, Father, O oh God. The purpose that you have for us, O oh God. It is taking over Jehovah, my King and my God. And Father, Lord, the things, O oh God, that you promised us, O oh Father, O oh God, by the beginning of this year, Jehovah God, Father Lord, we know that you're going to fulfill them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. So, Father Lord, we stand, O oh God, this evening, everlasting Father, O oh God, we stand against all schemes of the enemy, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. Words that have been spoken to us, oh God. Words, oh Father, that are bringing fear in our lives, oh my God. We come against them in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We will believe the word of God. We will believe, oh God, the report of God in our lives, oh Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh yes. hands. You're the mighty warrior great in battle. We thank you because you are with us, oh God. We thank you because we are enrolled in the army of God. We thank you because of your plan and your purpose and your presence that is with us today. We thank you because we have never, you have never lost our battle. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your victory of our life. Your victory of everyone listening to us tonight. Your victory in this nation, God. Your victory in our families, God. Your victory in our marriages, God. Your victory in our relationships, God. Your victory in our homes, our God. We thank you, Father, we honor you, God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We bless your name, oh God. In the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name. And Lord, even as you dismiss us with your presence, we pray that tonight you release the grace of prayer upon our listeners tonight, upon our congregants tonight, that those who are going through a time where they are feeling like their prayer life has gone down, I pray for revival in their lives. I pray for revival in their lives. I pray for the release of God in their lives. I pray for the mighty move of God in their lives. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. And we honor you tonight. And we exalt you. In the name of Jesus. We bless you. We honor you. May your presence be with us. And now may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. Both now and forevermore. Amen and amen Amen. and amen. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Aonai kwa siri, ata kujibu kwa wazi. Omba, 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 omba utafute uso apana. Aonai kwa siri, ata kujibu kwa wazi.